Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu signals to the U.S. how it plans to retaliate against Iran's latest attack two weeks ago. Meanwhile, the Israeli military launched deadly strikes at a Gazan hospital, killing and injuring dozens of people. The U.S. National Security Council responds on the video and images released of that moment. CBS News foreign correspondent Rami Innocencio is in Tel Aviv with the very latest. Welcome, Rami. Now, part of Israel's plan doesn't include attacking Iranian nuclear sites or oil fields. What is their main target? Hey, Liz, yeah, good to see you. And that is according to that Washington Post article out right now. But the Israeli government officially hasn't confirmed any targets whatsoever. Uh, for that matter, it also hasn't denied the reporting that it'll avoid nuclear and oil sites or that it would target military sites in Iran in some way, perhaps, that Iran sees it as the end of this strike and counterstrike back and forth that's been going on in the past few weeks. But, you know, the, the argument is there that if Israel attacked nuclear sites, that could be the linchpin sparking a bigger regional war. And if Israel attacked oil facilities, that would possibly make oil prices soar. So whatever their target, the feeling here and the signals that we're getting is that it may happen soon. Local Israeli media reported today that the government has agreed to what the targets are, when it will strike and how hard that reportedly still needs final cabinet approval. All right, turning to Israel on the Gazan front, a horrifying update, and I want to alert our viewers, this is very graphic imagery here. We understand the National Security Council responded to footage of civilians burning alive following an Israeli airstrike on a Gazan hospital. Can you weigh in on that? Yeah, the words there were deeply disturbing and horrifying, and that condemnation came from a spokesperson for the White House's NSC to CBS News in a statement just last night. Israel's military did acknowledge that it hit uh, tents on the grounds of the Al-Aqsa Hospital that's in central Gaza in Deir al-Bala, and that it was what they called a precise strike on terrorists. Now, the NSC, though, referenced them as displaced civilians, of which, of course, we've reported are in the millions. Videos posted online showed at least one person on the ground shaking as he or she was engulfed in flames. Four people were killed. That's according to the Hamas Run Health Ministry. One we do know now was reportedly a a 19-year-old student who was actually trying to raise funds to leave Gaza. His mother was also killed in those flames. Uh, the White House said Israel has a responsibility to avoid civilian casualties, but now it's estimated nearly 43,000 people, that includes militants and civilians, have been killed in Gaza since October 7th of last year. Liz. Horrible images coming out of that region. CBS News foreign correspondent Raymond Innocencio in Tel Aviv for us. Thank you so much.